hey, it's Friday. Um, I'm on plane with the cats right now. Oh, right on the chair. Just doing stuff around the house right now. I think we're gonna go on a walk. It's actually nice. It's like 65, guys. It's like 65 out. Um, and then we're just gonna do our pizza night, you know, Friday night pizza night tonight. And then instead of doing like beer tonight, we were gonna make some cocktails because guess what I got? <laughs> I was talking about this last week. Um, so this is the Ancho Reyes. I don't know if that's how you say it. Verde. So it's like a chili poblano liqueur. And I had it in this cocktail when I was um, back home. It was like a mezcal cocktail with just like this and lime and I don't know, probably some like sweetener or something in it. And it was really good and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I think we're just gonna make like some drinks with that tonight, try that out. And probably watch American Horror Story because I think it started this, I don't start it this week. There's two episodes recorded on our TV. So I don't know if they just like released two episodes in one week, but I feel like they did late this year. I feel like usually they would release it like in September. So, but very spooky season. So we're gonna watch that. getting ready and using my Dyson. I haven't actually used it in a few weeks. Um, but I, well, someone asked me on a TikTok video if they made them using it to like do like an update, like if I think it's worth it type thing. So I'll do that here for you as well. We had a fun little fall morning. We went on a little um, fall walk. We've been like, so insane. Like, we need to do a fall walk where we walk like all the way at, to the end of like the main street and there's this little like cafe there and they have like a brunch truck on the weekends um and go up on like the bridge and like do the walk up there all right so i i think i got that in june so now i've been using it for a few months um to be honest i don't use it as much as i thought i would uh, that's partly because i just don't like i don't style my hair that much um because if i'm working it's probably up or I'm at home and it's just like down or like up in like a messy bun so it's not like I really only like max would use it like once a week if we're gonna go out to dinner because we're going out to dinner is fine we're going to the taco place in our neighborhood that we always end up going to even though we say we're gonna go to different places they have a like for October they have a stranger things menu so they have like stranger things like decorations and like a whole like drink menu for it and everything so we said we decided we had to go and check it out you know so we're going there at night so i've done this like bottom layer i usually do like four horizontal layers um and i used a little bit of like mousse this is the amiga one before and then after i do like a section i spray it with some hairspray it's from kenra volume spray um because like using this to style my hair like to curl my hair not hold as well as like a curling iron generally and I mean I think that's partially because it's not as hot so it's not you know like a hot it doesn't have a clamp um because it's similar if I were to like use a curling iron or like a wand to wrap my hair around it also would not hold as well as like a clamp curling iron um just because it's not getting you know the heat like really like applied like that which did the air just go so I don't think it holds as well. So I end up using like hairspray and mousse to try to make it hold a little bit more. Um, and it takes me longer um, just because I have to use like a little bit of smaller sections than if, um, if I use too big of a section, it like won't stay on the barrel really. I do think it does give a different like look than a curling iron. Like I feel like if I use a curling iron, it looks like I use a curling iron. And it kind of like ends up more like a wave look a lot of times. This like, well, it'll still fall, but um, it looks a little bit more like a blown out look, I guess. Like like I use a brush and a dryer. And it comes with like a lot of attachments. This is like the one they came out with like this, this summer. So it's a little bit different than the original. Um, the curling barrels have like a little, they just flip like this to change the air direction. So you don't have to 
change the whole like piece. I think the original one has like a piece that you know the air goes this way and a piece that the air goes this way so you have to like which is good because I do like sections up and I do like the sides the sides so I don't like it's not like I do all one side of my head and then all the other side because I just can't do it like that <laughs> so I like that it has the flippable barrel it has a thinner barrel as well and these are also the long barrels um I just it's like the com I think it's the air wrap complete long I think they just came out with a new color also for like the holidays I think it's like a purpley blue like rose gold type thing anyway so the other attachments I use a lot would be like the round brush I use just like for like the front pieces of my hair and I'll put them up in like a, a roller and then the the hair dryer piece so I actually uh, well I have the Dyson hair dryer as well which um I think is a little bit more like powerful if I'm like my hair's like really wet and I really want to dry it um but yeah so this is a dryer but it's also the smoothing attachment which or flyaway attachment I don't know what the actual name is which they make for the dryer and the old air wrap the original air wrap didn't have this like combo piece it just had like a little like oval type dryer um and i had wanted that like flyaway piece um it looks different for the dryer attachment obviously just because it's attached to the dryer not this um but the idea is that it like blows so you flip the airflow here and so then it goes up and then through these and you like run it like this and it like blows air down um kind of like i mean like a dryer attachment that's like really like thin and concentrated like that type of thing but um a little bit different i guess so it like helps like smooth flyaways so they're like you know which i really like um and it actually works pretty well um because i always have little like pieces that are <laughs> um what else okay let me just do some and then i'll get back to this so I'm actually gonna, well, I'll just, I also have to like, really like get my hair out of the way. I don't know, I really hate having like my hair in the way when I like pull a new section down. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this down and then I'll take like a little chunk. Okay, the other main thing I really like about it is that you can use it when your hair is not dry because I kind of have a lot of hair and so my hair takes a long time to dry. So to get it like completely dry to then use a curling iron is kind of annoying. Like I like I'll wash my hair in the morning. Oh my god! Like if I wash my hair in the morning, like you know, six hours later it'll be dry. Whereas today I washed it maybe like three hours ago. It's still a little damp, but I'm able to like style it. I wouldn't have to like completely dry it first. So, and I usually when I'm doing like the curling, I do like the highest airflow and the highest heat. Um, and I take like a little section. Um, I've had an issue with like the end kind of falling off the barrel and i actually googled this to figure i watched the video to figure this out so if you like twist the actual barrel because you can kind of just like pull it towards your head and the hair will kind of wrap around you don't have to manually twist it but doing that twisting thing kind of keeps it wrapped around better so i'll show you what it looks like like this if i just like go like this it'll kind of um, Okay, so I did the, the, just like a normal like on um, heat for, I don't know, five, ten seconds because then I get annoyed because it's hot. And then I did do like push this up to do a cold blast, cold shot. And then I usually like let it sit for a second on the barrel so it's even cooler. Take it out and I kind of just like squeeze it. <laughs> and then there we go. So it's very curly, ringlety right now, but it won't like stay like that. And I'll just, um, I kind of do it different every time, but... I'm gonna do like this section and then spray it and then go to this one thing like since it is blowing air like when it gets up here i have like all these like small pieces of hair from when my hair fell out when i stopped taking hormone birth control and then it started growing back um so just like it kind of blows all these small pieces around everywhere and so that can make it look kind of like messy and frizzy in the end um and i don't think it's like a huge problem because of this the smoothing piece that you can use or um, if you just kind of like you know go over with like a little bit of like hairspray and a comb or you know a little bit of oil or something like that gets not really a problem okay so that's the one side so we're just gonna give a little spray this honestly though these can get a little bit hot so these are like the top part like if you're changing the barrel and stuff like these are like the cool i don't know if they call them but like they stay cooler than like 
this does. I mean, it's just like warm because I've been using it. Um, but if you were like using the hot setting for a while, it would get a little bit hotter. So back to my thoughts about this. I feel like if you're like looking for like a couple of products, like if you are wanting to buy a new hair dryer and you're wanting to buy like um, curling iron or if you're wanting to buy a curling iron and like um you know like the like Revlon like something like that like or dry bar like one of the like round brush dryers like because it is multiple pieces it is like very functional and like it can like replace or function as like a couple different products um which I also like for like if I'm gonna travel like when I was back home I brought like the base and then these three pieces instead of bringing like a hair dryer and a curling iron um or like the Revlon brush dryer and curling iron obviously a lot of places you travel like will have a hair dryer like hotels and like stuff like that like you know wanting it for multiple purposes if you literally just want it for like the curling iron or, like the curling barrel instead of a curling iron like it's probably not worth it it's just like the only thing you're going to use like i don't think that's really worth it if curling iron to me is like holds a little bit better and it's a little bit faster and like way cheaper like sometimes i still want to just use a curling iron because i either my hair is already dry or i don't have a lot of time or i want it to, like just like have that look you know like more of a wave wavy look than like a really like bouncy curl look i like this like bouncy curl like look that it gives but it definitely doesn't hold like that i like that it has that more like big like soft wave type look when i say like wave and i mean curling iron wave i'm thinking more like beachy wave look like this is just like a more glamorous like nicer look in my opinion That's i also think that if you're if you have like damaged hair and you're trying to use less heat and you do style your hair a lot this might be a good option because you know it is i mean it still gets hot it's but it's i think it's supposed to be like less damaging than the hot the heat of a you know like a traditional dryer and like a curling iron also the the revlon brush dryer that for me like i have it and i literally like it would just get too hot even if i was using like the low setting or the cool setting i feel like it still got too hot for my liking where it felt like it was like frying my hair or, like the smell you know this is what we got now and i'm not gonna like do anything to it for a while because i wanted to like kind of like you can see like these last pieces that i did and i spray them right away they're very bouncy and then there's like pieces down here that are you know that i started with that are kind of falling already so i'm not gonna like <laughs> do anything to it right now um just gonna wait a little bit but yeah i mean i like having this but i don't think like for me it's like a you know necessary it's not necessary for anyone obviously but like i could get a pretty good result with just a curling iron for my hair um but like to have like this kind of like curl i you know would be able to do and i like the round brush attachment i have like i kind of like the smoothing ones if i want like to do like more of a straighter look but i don't want to like straighten my hair but i want to like smooth that's nice i really like the smoothing attachment but yeah i do think it's definitely expensive so i think if you can get it like um during like some sort of like sale like the sephora sale i think you can buy it um there might be like a limit of like i mean maybe you can only buy one or something but and last year i was gonna buy this for a sale but then it wasn't in stock so um like this for a sale if you're you know like a beauty insider i think it's like, like 10 15 or 20 percent off so that obviously if it's like 20 percent off that takes off a good a good chunk of the price i bought mine from ulta and i used some of my ulta points that i've been saving up so i got like a couple hundred dollars off just with my points because i had a lot of points <laughs> but um so i didn't really pay like full price um but yeah obviously if you can get it like something like that or you know i'm sure a lot of people will ask for this for like christmas or something this year i know that there are like some of those like other similar products you know like dupes for it i don't know what the brand is but i've seen one on like tiktok that is similar it has you know attachments and it's the air blowing your hair to style it um i can't say what those are like i'm sure some kind of dupes for this are you know worth it for like the price difference um, so i don't know that's my thoughts on it i think it's i don't think it's worth it for everybody 
like if you already have like hair tools that you like and you like how your hair looks with them you don't need it like you don't need to like pay money just for like another tool when you have stuff that you like that works for you um, but I think if you are looking for multiple tools or a tool that like has multi-function multiple functions or if you have damaged hair and you're trying to use less heat um, I think those are all like good options or if you're like someone that like is always in a rush and you want to be styling your hair even though it's not dry the other thing I want to say I feel like certain types of hair this is gonna work better like for me it does not hold this very well so I have to use mousse and hairspray and I have to like you know kind of let it cool and it still is not gonna hold super well thank you for you have like like my hair is just kind of like slippery in nature and it is pretty thick so it's kind of like especially now it's getting longer it's like a little bit heavier so like these pieces like this piece in the front obviously like it's gonna hold a little bit better than like these pieces in the back where it's like longer and heavier and like this piece is also more bleached than like these pieces are more like my natural hair which is like healthier so it just like has more slip to it so it doesn't hold the shape as well so if you have like especially if you have like shorter hair or like it's like lighter weight hair or like hair that's like a little bit more damaged i think it will work better than if you have like really silky like long thick hair um i'm sure you can still use it and still get a nice look but it's not going to be like as much of a curled look when you're using the cur curling barrels it'll be more you know that like nice blowout look i think okay so i took out the, the bangs piece other than i haven't really done much to it um i am gonna like run my fingers through a little bit just to kind of like I don't like when like the parts around my head feel very like hairspray and oil. Just run that through. Finish look.